Yeah, I think um, Susie lives in a neighborhood that's, did you say 85% union? That's about 75. And I live in Michigan, so I live in a state where, I live in a state where the question of unions and the question of survival of jobs has been the first question in front of us for the last decade, more so than most other states, not all other states. But, and, it, and one of the things I think we as a progressive community struggle with um, is that we're either not in Susie's neighborhood or not in my state. In other words, the, where the media images get produced, a lot of the media images are coming out of New York City. Um, you know, they've had their own economic challenges of late, but they're very different from the economic challenges that the other 49 states are struggling, or, you know, say 40 states that are really struggling. Um, and the other media narratives are coming out of D.C., and the D.C. metro area has benefited from 10 years of military-industrial complex stimulus, and so is not struggling in that same way. And so one of the things i found that I've had to do, I mean, I, I mostly write national issues, but when, say, the auto bailout happened, I found myself writing, you know, exclusively auto bailout because I, I was one of the only people in creation that I could find that knew both the auto industry and, and politics and knew what was going on behind the struggles in the auto company. And I think one of the things we, need, we, we have gotten better at doing in the progressive community, but that we need to do much better, is really putting a face, making visible where labor is and how important they are to your, to your life. You know, because it's, it, I think it's easy, there are some places in this country where you live where the union members the, and the working people in general, the, the, the working class people in general that you interact with are going to be service workers who we tend to have, we tend to make invisible anyway. I mean, I think people in general tend to make them invisible, and, and, and that's a really terrible thing. But there aren't entire neighborhoods of union members, um, not the neighborhood I live in now, but the one I live in in Ann Arbor is probably close to that number as well. There are not entire states where, where you, you know, the unions have been the, the kind of real core of, of the party, for example, for decades and decades. And so, I, I mean, one of the things that I think we, it, you know, like, like one of, there are these teaching moments, like after, after the president of the World Bank, or IMF, right, allegedly attempted to rape this woman, there was all of a sudden, I mean, it was a, it was a wake up call to people that, that a maid, a hotel maid, wouldn't be able to challenge an attempted rapist or a rapist if she, if she wasn't in a union hotel. And, and those are the moments where I think you know, we, we always have to be magnifying these stories because, um, because our country has got so atomized and so, and frankly the people who are wealthy and make a lot of the narratives are in cities where there aren't as, you know, where the economy's better and where there aren't as many working class people in visible positions. Um, we just need to continue to magnify and and not just I mean I think not just magnify the importance of people who work in our life and you know even like the the the, the person who built your car it may be actually important that that person is educated you know that that does make a difference um, one of the, the, the one of the most popular blog posts I ever did was after the the United the the, the U S Airways. Remember the pilot landed in Hudson, yeah. and you know it wasn't necessarily like I just figured it out, and I was able to do it. And it wasn't you know like I didn't necessarily know all the Indian history, but I was like every single person involved in that successful rescue, with the exception of the Coast Guard, were unionized, and they were unionized, and they had been through safety training over and over and over again. And so many people who don't know unions are like, it's all about money. And it's like, no, it's about safety. It's about flying a plane for few enough hours that you're awake when something like that happens. It's about knowing what to do when you land in the Hudson River and you need to get 120 people off a plane before it starts. So I think, I mean, that's, one, that's, that's all, really all I want to say is that those of us who do blog, those of us who do write about this, I think we need to be aware of these teaching moments and aware of ways to make labor visible in a way that it, that's about it's about your neighbor. I mean, it, effectively, it's about how do you make labor a neighbor to people who aren't necessarily in that neighborhood? Can I go next? I'm sorry. Can I go next? Yeah, you were 